Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Bishop told me to sing a song, and I believe in being obedient, although I'm not a singer. But is there anybody else in here who God's been good to? Come on now. If he's been good to you, it seems like you'll make a little bit more noise than that. Is there anybody else in here who God's been good to? First song came to mind was the old song. That go down through the years. God's been good to me. Oh, down through the years. God's been good to me. Down through the years. God's been good to me. God. All of my life, God's been good to me. All of my life, come on, y'all help me out. God's been good to me. All of my life, God's been good. Kojic Church, they mix it. My mind is made up, and I'm on my way up. Gotta hold my head up, going on with the Lord. My mind is made up, and I'm on my way up. Gotta hold my for our precious brother of the day. God bless you. Down at the cross where my Savior died. After from cleansing from sin I cried. There to my heart was the blood singing glory. Come on church. Singing glory to his name. I'm singing glory. Oh, come on, Jack. Oh, dear. Yes, sir. I'm singing glory. Oh, won't you come? Oh, won't you come to this mountain so rich and sweet? Come and cast that poor soul at the Savior's Oh, blind can be made. I'm singing glory. Glory to his name. I'm singing glory. I love him. Oh, dead. What's the blood? I'm singing glory. Oh, won't you come to this fountain so rich and sweet? Come and cast our poor soul at the same. Oh, blind. Yes, sir. I'm singing glory. Oh, 
soul singing. Glory to His name. Yes, sir. I'm singing glory. Yes, sir. Oh, dear. I mean, you love him tonight. Look at somebody say, I know it was the blood. Well, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood that saved me. One thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I know, well, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood that saved me. One day, Jesus died. Yes, sir. Well, the blood came trickling down. The blood came trickling down. Oh, the blood came streaming down. You know the blood came streaming down for me. Why love you, Jesus? I want to get you put your hands together to give God some praise. Come on. We love you, Jesus. Think about it. Come on, come on. We love you, Jesus. Somebody say, I thank him for the blood. Well, I thank him for the blood. I thank him for the blood. Oh, I, I thank, thank him, him for, for the blood. It saved me. One day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody shout, he's coming back again. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. Oh, he's coming back again. For me. Well, I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. We worship your God. Jesus. And I know it was the blood. Put your hands together. Let's celebrate Jesus. the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. I want to ask you a quick question. Is God good on Sunday morning? Yes. Is he good on Sunday night? Yes. I, we used to sing a song when I was a, uh, in the uh, teenage choir. It seemed like something like yes, if uh, everybody's a Christian ought to show some kind of sign. If God's good on Sunday night, you ought to show some kind of sign. <laughs> bless the Lord. God bless you. God is an awesome God. We appreciate it. Deacon Bradley, have I given us a testimony on tonight, man? Yes. So be it. Huh? <laughs> Praise the Lord, sir. I mean, you know, he'll give it to you one more time. 
Look at somebody say, he'll give it to you one more time. God bless you. God bless you. Anybody else got a, a, a testimony you want to share with us on tonight? God bless you, Brother Donald. God bless you. Look at somebody say, you can't be God's goodness. God bless you, Jesus. best y'all can do. Let me, let me, let me, y'all didn't hear. She says 16 years ago, God gave her, the, the doctor gave her two years to live. She's 14 beyond the two years. Come on, put your hands together. Let's celebrate what the Lord has done. God bless you. God bless you. It's all free time in the house of the Lord. Amen. We got to learn how to give God some praise. Look at somebody tell them it's all about Jesus. I mean that thing. I mean that thing. We're ready to go old school. Make it all about Jesus. When I came along, amen, it was, uh, you got saved, you testified at everything. You had an usher board meeting. You had to have a testimony service. Amen. Now when it got cute, we, I remember I could see myself standing up on Sunday night. I thank the Lord for saving me, sanctifying me, filling me with the baptism of the Holy Ghost, being baptized in Jesus' name. Thank God for the word of the Lord on this morning. That word was meant just for me. We had them testimonies going and meant every word of them. Look at somebody say, what kind of testimony you got? No, you ain't got none. Y'all still sitting there. If you had a testimony, y'all be standing up. God bless you. Stand to your feet real fast. God bless you. Come on up here, Minister Tyler. We ask that you please lift your sacrifice up to the Lord in your right hand. Father, we love you, we honor you, God. We thank you for that which you've given us, Lord, to sow on this afternoon, God. We thank you for allowing us to have good ground to sow in, Lord. We ask that as we give, Father, unto you, Lord, that you please bless it and multiply it, some 30, some 60, some 100 fold. Father, we love you, we honor you, and we thank you, God, for who you are. In Jesus' name, amen.
Appreciate your liberality and giving on tonight. We have come down to the most important part of any service, and that is the teaching and preaching of God's word. And I know you didn't come back out here tonight just to look at one another, but look at somebody say, I need a word from the Lord. I really need a word from the Lord. I'm going to ask Deacon Keating, Andre Hurston, if he will come to present our speaker on tonight. Started out in back in July of 1996. Ju July the third, one day before fourth, she got saved, filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost, and I gave her two months of hell. <laughs> I mean, I say she lived hell, but you know what? I got a sister-in-law back there. She got saved in August of that next month. Then Lord just seemed fit to put old brother Andre out there. <laughs> so I thank God it was two months different than when she was saved than I was. But back in 1997, she started her ministry. And I thank God because, you know, she she's really been blessed with his word. You know, she Lord, I really blessed her and used her, you know. So, you know, for you, for you that don't know her, my wife, Cynthia Harrison, the love of my life. I can't say much, I mean, too much, you know, that she's been real good to me. I really got to say, she's been a real good wife to me. Even though when I gave her hell, she was still good to me. <laughs> but I, for you that don't know her, this my wife, Cynthia, Evangelist Cynthia Hurston, the uh, congregation, Cynthia Hurston, and I want you to just shake your hand and say, preach the word, preach the word. teach the word, teach the word. Preach it, Preach it, teach it, teach it, in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. How to reach the masses, men of every birth, for an answer, Jesus gave the key. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I draw all men unto me. How to reach the masses, men of every birth, for an answer, Jesus gave the key. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I draw all men unto me. Lift Jesus up, lift Jesus up, till he speaks from eternity. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I draw all men unto me. Lift Jesus up, lift Jesus up, lift Jesus up, lift Jesus up. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I draw all men unto me. Lift Jesus up, lift Jesus up. My Savior, up, just lift him up. He said, If I be lifted up from the earth, I draw all men unto me. Living, he loved me. Dying, he saved me. Buried, he carried my sin far away. Rising, he justified. Forever. One day he's 
said, living, he loved me. Dying, he saved me. Buried, he carried my sins far away. Driving, he justified, freed me forever. One day he's coming back. Glory is they just lift him up. Just lift him up. Just lift him up. Just lift him up. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I throw all men unto me. Praise the Lord, everybody. He said, if I be lifted up above the earth, I'll draw. I'll do the drawing. Amen. Some water, amen. Some planted, some water, but God will give the increase. Thank you, Lord. Let us go into prayer. Father, it is in the name of Jesus, Lord, that we stand before you, God. God, thanking you for counting us worthy, Lord, just to carry your word, God. Oh, God, and we don't take it lightly, God, as we stand before your people, God. Oh, God, let nothing that we do or say be out of the will of the Lord, God. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Amen. Amen. I want to give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen who is the head of my life, amen. <laughs> Honor to my husband, amen. We've been together 40 some years and, and he's right, it ain't always been easy, amen. Amen, and I thank God, amen. I see my family back there, I see a niece, a cousin, my sister, my brother, and I thank them all for coming, amen. I just thank God for you, you, and you, amen, because, you know, we didn't get out of here till almost two o'clock, and you know, I could have laid down and went to sleep, amen, so I thank you for pressing your way, amen, because it is a press, amen. Giving on, amen, to our pastor, amen. Amen, a man, amen, that preaches and teaches the word of God. And I have no problem following, amen, because I follow him as he follow Christ, amen. So, amen, we just thank you for each and every one. We're going to go into the word. We want you to go with us to Second uh, Chronicles, a very familiar scripture. I think everybody know it, 7 and 14. Amen. <coughs> amen. I thank God that how, amen, when I got noticed that I was on the speak tonight, then I asked Bishop, I said, well, what's the theme? He said, well, I'm working on it. I don't have one yet. He said, you just be led of the Lord. But I thank God that the word he gave me before I even knew what the theme, maybe, and it goes along with the theme. And so I know it was the blood. <laughs> Amen. And we're going to just read that one verse of scripture. It says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sins, and I will heal their land. And just for a few moments, I want to leave the thought with you, a call to action. Amen. We look at the word call. Call means to make a request or a command in a loud voice so as to be heard or recognized. Action is the accomplishment of a thing over a period of time. So I want you to just keep that in the back of your head as we go through the word. Now that we have entered into a new year, we are all probably thinking about what we did or didn't accomplish last year or what we want to accomplish this year or we want to improve upon the accomplishments that we made last year. So we want to do better. And usually that's everybody's New Year's pledge, I'm gonna do better this year. And if I don't preach to nobody else, I'm preaching to myself, cause this one hit me hard. I had to put on some steel toe boots. <laughs> Amen. So we go through this year after year, we gonna be better, we gonna be better. 
And I began to think about how year after year, we always hear a quote. I've quoted it. I've heard a lot of people quote it. And I don't mean to upset nobody, but it is what it is. But we always hear every year, we're not going to have church as usual. However, we come week after week. And what do we do? We do church as usual. Let's see, we do the praise and worship. We read the scripture. We pray. We have an A and B selection from the choir. We have the sermon. We have the altar call. We have the benediction. We go home and we come back next week and do church as usual. So my question is this. If we're not going to have church as usual, why we keep doing church as usual? Why we keep doing the same thing over and over? God is calling the church to be a church of action and for us to be a people of action. Now, I begin to look at this thing in the natural. When you enlist in the army, in the military, at some point in time, you'll be called to duty to serve your country in some form or another. You have to be prepared by entering into basic training and learning the job that you're going to be doing. So you have to go through this vigorous training. I've never been in the service. I had people in my family. My father, my two brothers was in the service, son-in-law, different ones. But I've never been there. But I know a little bit about something. So you go through this training physically and mentally. So in other words, and they say this training is really hard. They say it separates the boys from the men, the girls from the women. Hey Amen. You develop skills that you probably didn't even know you had, and you learn about things that you thought you were incapable of learning. But the one thing that you will learn is that you can never be an authority without being under authority. So I want to tell you tonight, amen, that we've gone through basic training, amen. Now we, the church, are being called for a tour of duty, amen. We're being summoned, amen, by our commander-in-chief, our five-star general, amen. And he said the year 2016 means war, amen, amen. We're going to go through some things that we've never been through before, amen. We're going to come up against some situations we've never came up again against before, amen. But God said he's preparing us. Amen. He prepared us in 2014, 13, 12, 11, last year, 2015. He said, with well, you out of basic training, amen, you're getting ready to go to war. Hallelujah. So in our scripture text, amen, we read in chapter 7, amen, Solomon is saying he had made an end to his praying, amen. And as he was doing this, it said a fire came down, amen, and it consumed the burnt offering, amen, and the sacrifices that he had made. And it said when the people saw this, amen, they begin to bow down, amen, and worship and praise the Lord, amen. They begin to say, for the Lord is good, his mercy endures forever, amen. And you know how we are as a people, amen. When things are going good, amen, we want to give God all the praise, amen. When everything is acting right, amen, ain't nothing broke down in the house. The cars are working, amen. The kids are acting right, amen. Even the dog barking right, amen. We'll stand up and we'll give God the praise amen oh but when things go to good and wrong hallelujah amen we want to shout where are you God hallelujah but I heard the word say I will never leave and I'll never forsake you hallelujah amen it goes on to say amen that the feast lasted amen for seven days hallelujah they worshiped and they praised God hallelujah and I begin to look at us as a people of God we can't even get past two hours on Sunday we go to clock watching Hallelujah. When is this thing going to be over? I'm getting a little tired. I'm getting a little hungry. Amen. But I remember back in the day, amen, we go to the club. Hallelujah. We shut the club down. Hallelujah. Then we go down on 2nd Avenue, get us a sandwich from the bus station. Then we find the after hours house. Hallelujah. And we shut them down. Amen. But when are we going to give God his due? Hallelujah. Amen. I'm preaching to myself. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, we come on Sunday morning. Hallelujah. We can't come back on Sunday night because we're too tired. I done been in church all day. I went to 5 o'clock prayer. I went to Sunday school, church, and now I'm tired. I'm not going back. Hallelujah. 
Hey, glory be to God. That's just how we is. Hallelujah. And so it goes on to say that on the eighth day, hallelujah, he sent them home. Hallelujah. He began to send the people back to their several homes. Amen. And they say the Lord appeared to Solomon by night. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And he began to tell them. He said, I've heard your prayer, hallelujah. He said, now I've chosen this place, hallelujah, for a house of sacrifice, hallelujah. Amen. God is saying tonight, heart of God, he has chosen this place, hallelujah, for a sacrifice, hallelujah, a house of sacrifice. But there are some things, hallelujah, that we got to do in 2016, hallelujah. He said, I see you praising me now, hallelujah. Hey, but when the rubber meets the road, are you going to still praise me, hallelujah? Hallelujah. And he began to tell Solomon, he said, you know, the people are praising me. Hallelujah. Hey, glory. He said, but if I shut up heaven and there be no rain, will they still praise me? Hallelujah. If I command the locusts to devour the land, will they still praise me? Hallelujah. If I send pestilence among my people, hallelujah, will they still praise me? Hallelujah. In other words, he was saying, hallelujah. Amen. Um, if I do this hallelujah they gonna praise me hallelujah when things ain't going their way hallelujah hey but he told them hallelujah he said if you keep your end of the bargain i'll keep mine hallelujah as long as you're in the will of god hallelujah because god is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent hallelujah there's a cause and effect to everything you do hallelujah if you do this then this will happen hallelujah if my people hallelujah it identifies us with God hallelujah it identifies who we belong to hallelujah who we are hallelujah you know how when you meet somebody hallelujah and you don't know who they are you ask them who your people hallelujah who your mom and your daddy hallelujah hey but God hallelujah saying today I got some of my people hallelujah hey glory be to God John 10 and 27 they my sheep know my voice and I know them and they follow me God got some of my people in John 10 and 5 he's in a stranger they will not follow hallelujah sometimes we fall after everybody and everything hallelujah hey, but God say hallelujah follow me hallelujah glory be to God first Thessalonians 5 and 12 they know them that labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you and esteem them highly hallelujah in the Lord for their work hallelujah oh we esteem them when they pat us on the back hallelujah but when they begin to admonish us rebuke us hallelujah hey, and a lot of us need rebuking hallelujah when they call us down on some things hallelujah then we want to get mad and don't want to come to church no more hallelujah hey but they looking after your soul hallelujah follow them as they follow christ hallelujah well, hey, those then he goes on he said those which are called by my name hallelujah this establishes our relationship with god hallelujah Amen. Just as we have a first name, a last name, identifying what family we are related to, God has given us a name to let the world know our relationship with him. In John 1 and 12, we say, But as many as received him to them, he gave power to become the sons of God. Amen. Even to them that believe on his name. Hallelujah. And you ask, what's his name? Hallelujah. But I believe Matthew 1 and 21 says, She shall bring forth a son, and they shall call all his name Jesus hallelujah I believe I heard the God say hallelujah if you seen my father hey if you seen me you see my father because I and my father are one hallelujah when Jesus told him I'll go away but I'm gonna send a comforter hallelujah amen hallelujah the name was Jesus hallelujah glory be to God hallelujah what's his name Jesus hallelujah Galatians 3 and 20 
and six, for you, for you are all children of God in faith, hallelujah, by faith in Christ Jesus, hallelujah. And we know without faith, hallelujah, it's impossible to please the Lord, hallelujah. You got to have faith, hallelujah, just to walk this walk, hallelujah. Hey, I remember, hallelujah, amen, when I got saved, hallelujah, I used to tell my mother, hallelujah, I know y'all just putting on, hallelujah, y'all just pushing them people down, hey, ain't nothing to it, hallelujah, glory be to God, hallelujah, but I remember one day, hallelujah, got on the church parking lot, didn't even make it out the car, started crying, hallelujah, went into the building, cried through the whole service, but I'm still saying, y'all people ain't about nothing, hallelujah, I know this ain't real, hallelujah, and I remember, hallelujah, hearing the altar call being made, hallelujah, and I sat back there trying to sit in my seat, but something kept pulling me, hallelujah, up to the altar, hallelujah, and as I began to make my way up to the altar, hallelujah, that's the last thing I remember. When I come to myself, I was laying down there, they wasn't playing. First Peter 2 and 10, say, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God. Amen. Romans 8, 14 say, for as many as are led by the Spirit, they are the sons of God. Amen. Who are you being led by? Amen. You got to be careful who you follow. Hallelujah. John 13 and 35 say, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples. If ye have love one for another. And you know that's a hard thing, amen, to have love one for another, amen. But the world is looking at the church, amen. We have to love each other unconditional, amen. You know, if you step on my toe, I'm gonna get mad and I ain't gonna speak to you. The world see it, amen. We think we hiding, amen. But if we can't love each other, how we gonna love them out there? How we gonna pull them in when they see us fighting amongst ourselves? Hallelujah, amen. So now, since you know who you are, and God said, this is what I am commanding, amen. He said, there's some things you have to do now. I done told you you're my people. He said, now you have to humble yourself. Amen. When you are walking in the spirit of humility, you don't have to go around announcing to the world, oh, I'm worthy me, I'm such a sinner, amen. The world already know, amen, amen. They say we were born in sin, amen. And then, and then, you know, we were born that way. We are sinners saved by grace, amen. So we don't have to go around announcing to the world, amen. But when you walk in humility, amen, you walk in awe, amen. You just stand in awe of the mercy and goodness of a great God, hallelujah, of what God has given us knowing, hallelujah, that there's nothing we done on our own, that in him we live and move and have our being, hallelujah, that we just a small, insignificant, hallelujah, compared to a great God, hallelujah, amen. We understand that everything that we have is because of who he is, nothing that we done on our own, amen, nothing in these filthy rags of ours, amen, but it's only by God's grace, hallelujah, and we have to exalt him in every situation of our life, amen. Amen. When we up on a mountain, when we're down in a valley, amen, we still have to exalt his name, God. Let him know that we serve a great and mighty God, amen, that no matter what goes on in my life, God, he's already gone before me. He's already made the crooked places straight, God. He's already prepared the way, hallelujah. Oh, God, and knowing that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord to those my people, which are called by my name, hallelujah, glory be to God. Oh, we realize in him, hallelujah, that everything we have, God, is because of who you are, hallelujah. Not that we so deserve it, but that he is such a forgiving God, hallelujah. Oh, and that was, it was because of his shed blood, hallelujah, that he gave his very life, hallelujah, for such a wretch like you and I, hallelujah. Oh, we, what a value God must place on each and every one of us, hallelujah. We are all custom made. I believe 
the world so we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Hallelujah. God didn't use a cookie cutter when he made us. Hallelujah. Oh, but could you imagine the price? Hallelujah. Oh, we you know when you order something custom made, amen, it costs a whole lot of money. It's made to your specifications just the way you want it. Hallelujah. Oh, but you're going to pay a price for it. Could you imagine, hallelujah, that when God before the foundation of the world, hallelujah, order you, you, and you, order me, hallelujah, what a price he must have paid, hallelujah, to have every one of us custom made, hallelujah, oh, glory be to God, and I thank him for it, hallelujah, and then he say, you gotta pray, hallelujah, man ought to always pray, hallelujah, pray without ceasing, hallelujah, oh, glory be to God, you know, we don't have a hard time praying hallelujah when we need something from the Lord hey we can drop it like it's hot hallelujah and call on the Lord hallelujah oh but when everything's going right hallelujah oh God we give them a microwave praise hallelujah we give them a microwave prayer and expect a five course meal in return hallelujah God say time out in 2016 we gotta get back to praying hallelujah we got to get back down on our knees, hallelujah. Oh, letting them know that we appreciate them. We love them, hallelujah. And we thank you, hallelujah. Not that you've given me the housing, money, and cars, but God, I love you. This was saving me, hallelujah, from the death of hell, hallelujah. God, we love you, and we appreciate you, hallelujah. Pray without ceasing, hallelujah. And then he goes on. To tell him, he's saying, seek my face. Hallelujah. Oh, but we seeking everything but the face of God. Hallelujah. Oh, we'll seek his hand. Hallelujah. Oh, we want things and we'll ask God, give me this, give me that, give me, give me, give me, give me. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, but we need to seek the face of God as never before. Hallelujah. Oh, we are in perilous times. Hallelujah. God say, think it not strange. Hallelujah. That these things are going to come up on us. Hallelujah. Oh, Oh, we got to seek him as never before. Hallelujah. Oh, we need to be in the presence of the Lord every day of our life. Hallelujah. I know there's time, hallelujah, when you can't feel his presence. But I heard his words say, I will never leave you and I'll never forsake you. Hallelujah. When you can't feel him, when you can't trace him, just know that he's still there. Hallelujah. In your behalf, hallelujah. Whatever's coming up against your God. He already took care of it. I remember, hallelujah, in August, hallelujah, when I got sick, hallelujah, went into the hospital, hallelujah. The only thing I was doing was throwing up, hallelujah. I get to the hospital, they tell me they have to admit me, hallelujah. Then they come back and tell me they're doing surgery, hallelujah. Kept me there for four days, hallelujah. Then the insurance told them, well, the surgery got to be outpatient, amen. So you have to discharge and let to come back, amen. So they sent me home for a day. I went back, hallelujah. The doctor told me that with a surgery, I'll take 45 minutes. We'll keep you in recovery a couple of hours, and then we'll send you home. Well, I woke up about three hours later, and I looked at the clock, and I thought, oh, Lord. I said, either one or two things will happen, amen. Either I've died and gone to heaven, and they're on a different time schedule than we on, or either something went terribly wrong in the surgery. So I looked at the nurse, and I asked her, what time am I going home? She said, you're not going home. We got to readmit you, hallelujah. So what was supposed to be? A 45-minute surgery turned into two hours, and what was supposed to be an outpatient turned into an eight-day hospital stay, amen. But God had already gone before me, hallelujah. He said, I am the Lord thy God that healeth thee. We got things going on in our body we don't even know going on, hallelujah. They told me as bad as it was, I should have had symptoms long before that, hallelujah. But I praise God, hallelujah. Oh, God, that he work on you. Hallelujah. He'll work on you. Hallelujah. In your midnight hour. Hallelujah. When you don't even know. Hallelujah. What's going on. Hallelujah. Oh, but he said, I'll never leave you. And I'll never forsake you. Hallelujah. 
And you know, we'll walk out on God. Hallelujah. But I thank God that he'll never walk out on us. Amen. He said, call upon me, and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which you knew not of. Amen. And he'll do just that. Amen. So we have to consciously and continually make an effort to get and stay in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. The enemy will put stumbling blocks in your way. Amen. And that's his job. Amen. He comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. But God say, I am, I am, I am, I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Amen. You know, we have the power to overcome these obstacles. Amen. He said, after that, the Holy Ghost has come. You shall have power. Amen. We don't have a problem when we need, amen, to seek the hand of hallelujah. Oh, but we need to seek him, hallelujah, and his power, hallelujah. Oh, seek the Lord while he may be found, hallelujah. We must believe that he is and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. And then he goes on to tell them, now you got to turn from your wicked ways, hallelujah, your sinful, evil, wicked ways, hallelujah, sin of commission, hallelujah, sin of omission, hallelujah, you know, we sin daily, hallelujah, that's why we have to continue to ask God, ask God to forgive us, hallelujah, but there are sins that we do and don't even think about, hallelujah, oh, that's why we have to pray daily, hallelujah, and ask the Lord for forgiveness, hallelujah, hey, glory be to God, hallelujah. He said, if we do all these things, he said, then I will hear from heaven, I will forgive your sin, and I will heal your land. In the beginning, I told you how we keep saying, you know, it's no longer church as usual. Amen. But we keep doing church as usual. Amen. People are coming to church, amen, as a means of entertainment now. They just come to see what them old crazy saints are doing. Amen. Amen. And they come over and over to come to see the rerun because we keep doing the same thing over and over and over. But I long to see the day. Hallelujah. I want to borrow the words of Martin Luther King Jr. I have a dream. Hallelujah. That one day when I walk into the church, hallelujah, the first thing that go forth is the word of God, hallelujah, because everything is going down but the word of God, hallelujah, oh glory be to God, hallelujah, and then you know we have those that want to creep out, hallelujah, excuse me, you know, after the praise and worship, they done come in here, hallelujah, and got them a free house, the praise and worship thing, amen, and then they want to creep out of the church, hallelujah, but if the word go forth, hallelujah, Hallelujah. Get your high off the word and then creep out. Hallelujah. Hey, they come in here. I believe we called it back in the day a contact high. Hallelujah. I ain't got no weed, eh? So I'm going to stand close to you while you smoking and I'm going to get me a little contact high. And that's what the world is doing today. Coming in a church, getting a contact high. Amen. Off the saints of God. Hallelujah. And if the word go forth first, hallelujah. Those that are fashionably late, hallelujah. Because I don't want to hear Sister Susie singing her song. I don't want to see Brother so-and-so dance to his dance. So I just want to hear the word. So I'm going to go late and by the time I get there, the preacher should be up on the floor. But you know what? Hallelujah. If you really want to hear the word, then you better get here first. Hallelujah. While the word is going forth. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. God is calling us to an action. We can't keep talking. I heard Bishop often say we got to stop talking and get to walking. Amen. And he said, he you people honor me with your lips, but your heart is far from me. Hallelujah. I believe this year will be a great manifestation of the power and the move of God like we have never seen before. Promises are going to come forth. Amen. But we got to get in position. Amen. This is going to be a year of supernatural. Amen. Whatever you stand in need of. Hallelujah. This is going to be a year of supernatural healings. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Supernatural deliverances. Hallelujah. Supernatural breakthroughs. Hallelujah. Blessings that make rich and addeth no sorrow to it. Hallelujah. This is going to be a year. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah. When a doctor said they've done all they can do, hallelujah. God gonna be saying, I am the Lord thy God that healeth thee, hallelujah. Be made whole, hallelujah. This is gonna be a year, hallelujah. When the bankers are telling you, hallelujah, you can't afford that home in that neighborhood. You need to go get something a little cheaper, hallelujah. Maybe in another neighborhood, but God is gonna tell you, hallelujah. I own the cattle on a thousand hills. All the gold and all the silver is mine, hallelujah. And not only is he going to tell you that, he's going to tell you it's paid in full, hallelujah. This is going to be the year when the employer is telling you you don't qualify for the position, eh? but God is saying promotion don't come from the east or to the west. He said God will put, it, put up one and set it down another one, hallelujah. You are the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. This is a year for the saints of God, hallelujah. It's there for the asking, hallelujah. Oh, but we got to get in right standing with God, hallelujah. Oh, God, hallelujah. Thank you, hallelujah, when we get into a right relationship with God, hallelujah. Oh, when we know that we know that we know that we are people called by his name, hallelujah. There's benefits, hallelujah, to having that name, hallelujah. And I am a living witness, hallelujah. There's some benefits, hallelujah, I wasn't deserving of, hallelujah. But God in his mercy, hallelujah, look down on me and say, my child because I love you I'm going to bless you with this hallelujah and if he did it for me he'll do it for you hallelujah glory be to God God is telling us today hallelujah if you act I react hallelujah if you respond to the call I respond to your call hallelujah that everything that you ask for believing and not that it shall be done hallelujah there is a call to action, hallelujah. A call to accomplish what God has given us to do. Saints of God, boot camp is over. We are being sent out in the year 2016 on a tour of duty, hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Oh, glory be to God, but we gotta be prepared. We gotta be prayed up, amen. We got to be fasted up, hallelujah. Oh, we take this one month and we'll fast halfway. I don't do it every day, but I'm going to do better this year. Because you know what? We, we go through this whole month, and we're going we gonna to pray. We're going to come to church. We're going to fast. But God said we got to do it all year. There's some things coming up, amen, in the world that if you're not grounded and rooted in the word of God, the devil is going to tear you down. I mean, this is, it, it is what it is. Amen. So. Did everybody get their little piece of foil? And I'm almost done. And that's not to roll your hair, ladies. <laughs> Amen. So I want everybody to get the shiny side. If somebody don't have one, tell somebody to tear a piece of theirs off for you. Now this year, we in war. Y'all heard the song, this means war? This means war. We are in a war in the year 2016. But see, we got a covering. We don't have to worry. But you know, we're going to have to pull some of them out the fire. So we got to be able to pull them, amen. So this year, I want you to take you, this is your mirror. And I want you to just repeat after me. Say, the greatest obstacle in my way is me. The greatest in my way is me. In order not to do church as usual, I, I can't do things as usual. In order not to do church as usual, I can't do things as usual. And let the change begins with me. God bless you. If there's anyone that need anything from the Lord, amen. God is in the house, amen. He's got everything you need. Hallelujah. Whatever you stand in need of. God said, all you have to do is ask. 
You know, I've asked God for some things, and it didn't look like it was going to happen. And it got down to the men. I just want to share this testimony since Bishop and I already told y'all this morning about the car being paid off. Uh, about, I don't know, two weeks or so before that happened, I came to church, and I wrote the check out for the tithe. And when I wrote that check out, I had $3 left in my checking account. And the Lord tried to, t I mean, the devil tried to tell me, you better hold on to that money because you might need it before next payday. And I had it in my purse, and I thought, you know what, I might because I just had to buy tires and stuff. And, and I was like, I might better keep this money. You know what? But I, I said, no, this is just a portion of what God has given me. So I went on and I dropped that in. And two weeks later, there was funds available for me to pay off my vehicle two years early. And I, I, I'm not bragging in me, I'm bragging in God. It was a pretty penny. But I went from $3 to enough to pay it off two years early. And it's nobody but the goodness of the Lord. And you often see me, and I want to just tell you, a lot of times when you come up here and sow your money, a lot of times you, you people, a lot of times people sow because they see their friends sowing. But sow when you hear something that hits you. And it don't have to be in a word. I remember Jeremy sung a song one Sunday, Enlarge My Territory. And I sold on that song because that's what I needed the Lord to do. And I tell you, after that, the blessings of the Lord just started flowing and flowing and flowing. So you got to listen to the word. We need the word. But also listen to the words of the song. Sometimes when you sow on a song, God will bless you through a song. And I will never forget that because I noticed it was right after that things just started happening. And I knew it was because I sowed on that song. Amen. So God... He'll do whatever you need him to do. Amen. He'll give you riches untold. Amen. You'll be banging your head wondering how did this happen. Amen. But God is a God. He's like that. He's a good God. Amen. It's nothing that you can do to deserve it. All you have to do is just praise him. Just worship him. Praise him. Worship him. He said, I'll give you even the desires of your heart. I can remember when I first got saved. And I used to see the saints of God dancing. And I had never danced. And I was like, Lord, I want to dance. And I, I would just go to church every Sunday. And I want to dance, I want to dance, I want to dance. And I remember one night, we're in service. And the service had dismissed. And I started at the door. And I started dancing. And I danced, and I danced. And it looked like every service, amen, I would dance. I would dance and I would dance. And I still love to dance for the Lord. Amen. Because, honey, when I was going to the club, I, I, I would be on the floor by myself. I didn't care who was up there. I danced all country music, anything. I would, we would go out on Wednesday because it was ladies' night. we go out on Thursday just because. we go out on Friday to kick the weekend off. we go out on Saturday to end the weekend up. And by Sunday, my toes would be so sore from wearing them heels. Y'all wonder, that's why everybody asks me, how you wear them heels? Well, you know what? I wore them in the world. I danced and I kicked up in the world so I can do it for Jesus too. Amen. It don't matter. I just changed partners. Hallelujah. Still doing the dance. Hallelujah. Amen. So this is a year. Don't be afraid to ask God. Now don't get mad when he don't do it tomorrow or next month. But just know that it will be done. He said, I'm not a man that I should lie. And neither the son of man that I should repent. If I said it, I will do it. Anybody needs prayer? Amen.